First, hammered silver with the mana core. There's the king, right? Right there. I'll take that all day long. Treasures, Missouri Mike, Plugmaster Ford, GA Buddy. We got the Nugster right here, DK right there. We got a newbie right here, Austin. We got Tony with 5280. We got Jeff Barber in there. And Jimbo up in the front seat. We're all here. What's the prediction today, Jeff? Plugmaster? <laughs> That's just our group. We got Mr. Shane Darby with us first time or this time. And the Season Pro, down south detecting Ohio right there, Mr. Goldman. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> we see the most prepared one out here <laughs> is Brandon. <laughs> you never know. fields back behind us lots of detecting so let's get to swinging let's see what we can get gonna hunt today with the nugget I'm breaking out the new mana core today check this out guys we're gonna be volumes gonna be at 25 search mode we're gonna be on all terrain uh, low conductors is where we're gonna be at we got high conductors we got trash we got beach but uh, also there's a general, but uh, the high conductors, low conductors, is what I'm going to go for. If you want to know what that more that means, you can look right here, and you go down here, and you can hit uh, info, and uh, it's going to tell you it's inland detecting, optimized for small or thin metal targets such as hammered. That's what we're looking for, a cut coin. So that's what we're going to be looking for. And uh, so we're going to leave it right there. Let's turn to our menu. Noise cancel. Let's go ahead and do that. That's done. Let's return. Now let's uh, go up. Ground balance. We're going to leave tracking on our, uh, let's see here. Recovery speed, we're going to leave at five. It goes all the way up to eight. Um, leave my discrimination pattern there. All this is going to be the same. I'm running five tone. There's a bunch of different uh, ones that you can do. Uh, but I like five tone. That's what I'm used to. I'm going to do enhanced uh, multi frequency and general settings right here. Let's, uh, no vibration in the handle. We'll leave that. Uh, the lighting, we're going to put on automatic right there. And soft keys already got that set uh, let's see here so let's just go we're ready we're ready to go right now we're gonna put the full horseshoe off there's it on we're gonna leave it off and just detect full metal here all right let's get going see what we can get well out here in this big field nuggets up that way going through that other field on the other side of that hedgerow I was getting a 23 here and popped it up I think it may be Roman. Let's look at it together. It's right there. That looks Roman, doesn't it? I don't know. It could be, be a piece of lead. Let's uh, break out the holy water and let's see what this is going to be. Time to break out the holy water. All right. Oh, it's going to be cold. 
a bottle's frozen probably. Eh, it may not be wrong. It may just be a, a lead token of some sort. It looks like it's got Hebrew writing on it. Let me wipe it off and get it just a little bit drier. Hang on just a second, guys. I don't know. I'm going to have to get this identified. See right there on the top, if I can keep it in focus, that's a bait. That's a bait. Aleph bait, the second letter in the alphabet, in the Hebrew alphabet. I don't know. That's going to be an interesting find. Let's uh, get some pictures and we'll get it positively identified later on. All right. First find with the manicure. All right, I'm going to live dig this one. Check it out. 87, 88, about eight inches deep. Right there. All right, let's uh, see what that's gonna be. We'll live dig this. It's gonna be a coin, I hope. Maybe a largey, I mean a, a, a uh, greeny, we call them. Let's see if I got deep enough there. Yeah, y'all see it? Still down in the hole. Maybe it'd be a big silver. I can handle a big silver. I like that. All right. All right, it's out of the hole. Let's see where it's going to be. There it is, right there. I'm not gonna bend down. I'm gonna bring it up to me. Yep, gonna be a greenie. First greenie of the day. Definitely won't be the last greenie of the day. This is the one coin that you dig more up. Let me uh, clean it up and we'll see what it is. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but the bust there is looking to the right so that's going to be a kj3 most likely and lady britannia will be right over there i think she's sitting like that i can barely tell so this is going to be early uh early 1700s mid 1700s yeah i see his big nose right there all right Good find, let's keep going. Well, I was getting a 5152, and I think it's gonna be a hammered silver. Let me clean it up and we'll get a better picture of it. First, hammered silver with the mana core. There's the king, right? Right there, you can see him. And it's a long cross. It could be King Edward the First which is going to put this around 1270 to 13, early 1300s. But it could be a Henry, which would be in the 1400s, I think. But hey, I'll take that. Rang up a 5051 on the Mana Core. Rang up, what did you say, Seth? The 18 on the Knox? 18 on the Knox and a 60-something on the AT Pro. I'll take that all day long. Yeah, Preacher Digger got hammered. Check that out. I love it. I love it. Yeah, I think just about everybody out here in this field behind me has got a hammered out here. Just, just about. A lot of us. But check that out right there. He got a knot. We got some Romans out of here, an axe head out of here, and some other stuff. So I'll take that. Let's uh, keep on going and see if we can get it. My first one with the Matacorum. Excited about that. All right, let's keep digging. Got a bullhead over here.
67 inches. Let's see what it is. Let's see if it's going to be a greenie or we right there. I think I see it. Yeah, I do see it. Right there. It's going to be a greenie. Kind of greedy? I don't know. Let me clean it up and I'll get back with you. Well, can't really tell. Most likely it's going to be a KG3. It's kind of thicker. It's kind of wiped though. Through the years, the fertilizer just tears these coins up. Oh well. Let's keep seeing if we can find another hammered or another gold. Well, back out here, day two. We're coming up on a field we call the Horde Field, and uh, they found two gold hordes out here. And every year we come here, somebody's found a gold coin out here. Celtic gold coin from about 40 BC. So I'm hoping I can get a gold coin today. And uh, got some grass on the field so it won't be so muddy. But uh, hopefully we'll get some good stuff here. So let's get to swing and see what we can get. Well, hopefully you guys can hear me. The wind out here is just really really bad. I haven't found too much out here. Doug and Dog have found one hammered and uh, I'm to put this phone in close where the wind won't blow and I just got a 19 and I think I just got a little hammered coin myself. So I'm going to tell the guys this and I'll show you a close up to it right now. It's kind of wiped clean. I can see some type of uh, edging on it right there ringing up very low but that's a hammered silver not a pretty one but I'll take it so let's get some pictures and keep swinging see what else we can find decided to come off of the field where I found that hammered right about I don't know right over there and uh, started to come over here in this stubble and check this out 90, 90, 91, 92. About four to six inches deep. So let's live dig this. Maybe a cartwheel penny. I'm hoping it's a cartwheel penny. But uh, hopefully it's not some tin can. Doesn't sound like it. But this is going to be a good coin. No, it ain't. It's gonna be a big chunk of lead. Oh, I guess I hope so. I was wanting a cartwheel penny. All right, you don't get good stuff every time, so let's keep going. Well, we moved on to a new field. Got DK with me. He's over here, just found him something, and I was coming up beside him and just uh, got a 56 on the uh, Manicore. And y'all check this out. I just cleaned it up. Definitely a hammered silver, but I've never dug one like this before. It's got the crown on the top something there in the middle completely wiped on the back but this is pretty nice I have to see what that's going to be I didn't think it was hammered at first but uh, after we cleaned it up and we saw that crown it definitely is hammered you'll check that out I like that what do you think about that DK yeah nice it's got I like that like that you can see the detail on it yeah Anytime yeah. you can pull a hammer out of here, hey, a special time. If there's one, there's got to be more. Let's keep right. swinging. Let's keep swinging. Excellent. Yes. Well, it's been a while since I dug that hammered and uh, got a good 52, 53 here on the Manicore and popped it up, and it's a nice uh, flat button. Let's check it out. Got a little bit of the guild around it. Yeah. That's pretty nice. Let's clean this one up and see if it uh, has a bat mark on it. Maybe pretty windy. Hopefully y'all can hear me. Yeah, it's just got a... I don't know if that's riding. It's some type of riding around the edge. 
Yeah, that's a nice, uh, nice flat button. Go gilded at one time. I have to see what that writing may say. I can't tell. All right, let's go look for a Roman coin. That's what I'm after now. Here's some of my finds. I haven't been showing everything. I got a tom back button. I got that token, lead token, with a kind of a clover leaf on it. Another tom back, another tom back, a watch key finder, a huge musket ball, and then there's my two two hammers. Pretty slim. Not many people are finding much today, but that's the way it goes. Some days you get on some hot spots and you find a lot. Like yesterday, I think uh, we found nine hammered coins, and uh, but today not a whole lot. So let's keep swinging. See if we can find some Roman now. I was getting a uh, forty something, and got my first screenie for the day. I think that's going to be Queen Victoria. Maybe I have to. Yeah, that's Queen Victoria. Call it Queen Vicky. 1862 my first greenie for the day usually you dig a lot of them but uh today they've been kind of scarce there she is this is a good one all right let's get a picture and keep on rolling i was getting a very faint signal and you can see it's uh about a foot deep <laughs> popped it up check this out that's going to be something good that's going to date back a little bit. We've been digging some Roman stuff out of here. I don't think this is Roman. It could be. But uh, definitely was on something. I don't know what that is. Let me clean it up and let's get a better picture. It's got some type of little design on it. I don't know if you can tell there. Looks like it was screwed on. Maybe a piece of a furniture. Definitely some type of hinge. Be curious to see what they identify that as. All right, I'm just working this little spot right down here where some Roman fibulas have been found and some other Roman bronze coins right out here. So I'm hoping I'm going to start working that through here. We can find some other stuff. Just listen deep and see what we can get. Let's get a picture and keep on rolling. Well, let's get a solid 64. And uh, this looks like a greeny, but it's not. It's actually... I dug three of these up last year and a couple of them out here in the same place. I'm in this kale and in my video called uh, Hammered last year I, I found these Condor tokens. These are local tokens that they use for money and uh, hopefully you can hear me with all the wind but uh, yeah they uh, are nice local tokens. I'll take it. All right, let's get a picture and keep rolling. Just about out of daylight today. This is day three. It's just been way too windy to film anything today. And plus today's just been one of those days that really none of us has really found anything. We got uh, two guys have found a, a hammered. Um, and that's just about it. We haven't found, really found anything else today. One guy found a milled silver. And, you know, that's just how it goes sometimes here in England. You just, uh, some days you'll get on a good spot and find a lot and, in other days, you know, we just don't find much at all. But today's just one of those days that's a typical England day. It's just wind at uh, 25, 30 miles an hour continuously and gust up to 50 miles an hour. And it's been like that all day long. So I don't even know if you can hear me on the video right now. Uh, if you do, it'll be in the video. If not, I'll cut this out. But uh, I've got a few things that I found. Not much. Not much at all. I'll show you what I've got, uh, what I found today, since I couldn't film it uh, live. 
And uh, so let me turn you around, let me show you what I got. This is gonna be it. I got one, to me this is my best find. It's broken, but it's a toy cannon. We tend to find a lot of these over in England for some reason. But that's, to me, that's my best find. I found a only one greenie. Usually you'll find greenies like uh, stinking Lincolns, but no one's even found hardly greenies. And I don't even know what type of greenie this is. It's gonna be a half cent. Uh, probably a KG2, KG3, I would think. A uh, bunch of buttons uh, is all I got. I got one real cool Tombat button there. Tombat just means it's a it's a button made of many metals, uh, I believe, and it's got some decoratives there. They ring up really good. They look good like the hammered silver coming out of the ground too when you can bring them up. And I got this button. I haven't cleaned it up enough yet. It's got a portrait in the middle and got some writing around it. And uh, that's a convex copper button. So that's going to be pretty nice. Hopefully we can get enough. Uh, information off of it that we can identify it but that's about it that's just about it not much at all today i may have a few things in my bag right there but that's the way it goes sometimes just not a lot i'm just letting my back rest i strain my back uh, uh on the first day out and uh, i've just been eating ibuprofen like it's been candy just to be able to dig and uh, so I'm just kind of taking a break. Uh, Nugget Noggins right down below me taking a break himself. And I'm just walking back to the bus and uh, just going to wait it out because we're not finding anything today. So tomorrow's a brand new day. So if I find anything else between here and the van, I'll definitely put the camera on it. Maybe. Uh, if not, uh, I'll just show it tomorrow in the film tomorrow. All right. I'll catch y'all tomorrow on day four. Yeah, that's good there. The color of that. Only on the back of course. Quarter stator. That's right. Congratulations, Thank man. You, First trip to England. What do you think? I'm loving it now. <laughs> <laughs> and we ain't found anything all day. Yeah, it's been rough. Got him a, a Celtic quarter stator. This is going to be what, eight, about BC 40? Yep. 10 to 40 AD. 10 to 40 AD. Oh wow, congratulations man. Thank you. That's what we're all looking for.